Adam Bates with the Ohio Department of Transportation and in this video I'll be demonstrating how to sign a title sheet without signature fields. I just wanted to go over a few of the situations that you may come across when using digital signature fields. So the first one is going to be V8i products where the design script is not being supported by this software. So if you're using Geopack to print or produce your plans you're going to have to manually place your digital signature fields. And also another situation you may come across, and if it does happen, you'll have to place them manually too, is if you haven't set the design script within your printing process. And as you can see here, if you're not seeing this design script within your printing, then those fields will not show up. But we also have some other videos within this series that go over this and how to fix some of the issues you may come across within ORD. So let's go ahead and open up Adobe Acrobat Pro. I also just wanted to quickly mention that Adobe Reader cannot support placing digital signature fields, so you'll need to use the Pro version or Bluebeam Review or your choice of PDF software to place the signature fields. So we're first going to start off with Adobe Acrobat Pro. And let's open up a title sheet here, and you'll notice we don't have any signature fields placed. To do this, we're going to go to the Tools, go to the prepare form, click the start button, and it's going to look to see if there's any field annotations within the plan set. And if there isn't, it's not going to detect any. So just click OK. And now let's go to the toolbar up here at the top and let's click on the digital signature tool. We're just going to place and drag and drop the signature field here. And for the field name, go ahead and put the signer's name here. And we want to mark this as a required field. So let's go ahead and do that for the rest of the other ones as well. For this example, I'm not going to fill out the field name. And then once you've placed all of the signature fields, let's go ahead and save the file. And once you've saved it, let's go ahead and close it and then reopen it. Doing that just makes it so that you can click these correctly. And let's click one of those fields. And now we'll get prompted with the digital ID. You can select your appearance here. You can create an appearance. You can edit your appearance here. Let's click the sign button. And then we get prompted to save the file. And you'll notice now we have a digital signature within the title sheet. We can also view the signature here from the signature panel. And you can see that we have a valid signature now placed within the title sheet. So now that I've gone through the process on how to place signature fields using Adobe Acrobat Pro, let's take a look at how to use that function within Bluebeam Review. So let's open up Bluebeam Review. You're going to want to open up a file. So let's go to File, Open. And as you can see here within this title sheet, we don't have any signature fields. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the tool palette here and select the signatures tool selection. And then we're going to go up here and select the signature fields tool. And we're going to drag and drop the signature fields. And once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and save the file. And in doing so, what that does is it writes those fields to the actual file itself. So now we can actually place a digital signature here. We also can access our digital IDs here, attach our appearance. And then when we've done that, we can also just click OK. And then it's going to prompt us to save the file again. And as you can see, we've now placed a digital signature within this file here. We can also view those signature, the authority, the validity of the signature. You can also remove the signature and validate also by right clicking here, just in case you need to do that as well. If you have any questions or concerns on what we've just covered within this video, feel free to reach out to us at the Cadent Mapping Services Group via service request here. And we'll get back to you as soon as we can.